what happened in March 2020. I want to share with you, Supreme Court Justice is out with a statement. And wow, he's not holding back. It, it is a pretty aggressive, aggressively worded review of that COVID lockdown and what we went through as a nation. All those businesses that closed, the mandates that were put in, according to Supreme Court Justice Gorsuch, it was, quote, among the greatest intrusions on civil liberties in the history of the nation. Here, here. I agree with Supreme Court Justice wholeheartedly, and I'm very frightened that that happened, and I'm frightened that it could possibly happen again because you saw how quickly everybody kind of fell in line. It was like, get with the program, get with the program, and we're going to shut everything down. Except nothing was consistent. I mean, you could have casinos open, you could have bars open, but you couldn't have churches open. Like, that made sense. Which goes back to what I said from day one. It was political. I mean, sure, there was a health component. Of course. But they used that for political purposes. And they shut a country down for political purposes. I mean, just look at, at, at everything that happened, for example, with Fauci, et cetera. It's very clear. It's very clear. And so Neil Gorsuch is calling him out. He labeled this uh, whole sort of series of lockdowns that we had and all of these mandates as among the greatest intrusions of civil liberties in history. He said that state and federal level emergency decrees were declared on a, quote, breathtaking scale. And Congress and state legislators, they, quote, too often fell silent as strict rules were laid down. And he is right. It was like the nation was just paralyzed with fear. And I'm like, no, guys, listen, whatever you do, don't let fear get in the way of moving forward. And in the case of what we were going through, you needed a strong economy to fight that. So the answer should have been all along, okay, you know what? If you are in a vulnerable group or if you are around people, live with people that are in a vulnerable group, then yes, we need to protect you. But everybody else kind of needs to keep it going. 